In this assessment, you're asked to give the mechanism of two alpha fragmentations. And as a bonus, we don't normally do part B, but I'm going to do part B, a McLafferty rearrangement to see if we can find those fragments in our spectrum. Now, I'm going to run out of space on the screen, but hey, that's what happens when you get bonus content. Uh, let's start by looking at the alpha cleavage. The first one we can do, and we're going to color code this, we'll have the alpha cleavage of the three carbon fragment over here. That's going to give us this radical that we know will not be detected because it's neutral, and this cation that will be detected. The mass to charge ratio, or the, the mass of this fragment, where we would expect to see, we would expect to see something at 85 mass to charge ratio. And if we look at our spectrum, you can see that we do see something at 85. We see a peak at 85 that corresponds to that alpha cleavage. We can do alpha cleavage on the other side. The difference is that now we're going to get a four carbon radical fragment, which won't be detected, and this other carbocation. The mass of this cation is 71, and so we would expect to see a peak at 71 mass to charge ratio. I ran off the screen just a little bit. Do we see something at 71? In fact, we do. Uh, the last one that we're going to do, and this is again bonus coverage, is the McLafferty rearrangement. And so that's going to require us to redraw the molecule in a slightly different way. So we'll do this over here, hoping to save, hoping to have enough space. We'll draw the starting octanone in this way, so that we can see the. the confirmation that's going to be required for showing this. I need to get a little more ink. If we draw it this way, we can see then that the McLafferty rearrangement is going to be this six electron, six, six electron cyclic transition state or mechanism where the electrons move in this way. Now, if we follow these arrows around, we should end up with this enol, this enol, which is itself a radical cation that would be detected by the mass spectrometer. And so the mass of this is 86. And so we would expect to see a peak at 86 mass to charge ratio. And if we look closely next to the one we identified earlier at 85, we do in fact have a peak that shows up at 86. So this spectrum shows both alpha cleavages and the McLafferty.